They do. Have, so TSM actually does have two winning lanes right now in terms of like just outright winning. So it's a little bit frightening because there is a chance where TL just falls uber far behind, but they have such good wave clear and TSM currently doesn't have any good like Baron killing potential. I wonder if they'll just pick Orn or something um, as R5. Let's see what Summit is actually just going to blind. I'm surprised Summit isn't just blinding. J what? Nocturne. Okay. Kyoshek was one of the original Nocturne players in the LCK when no one else was playing the champion. I think I believe that it's when he had Chovy and Deft. Um, and so because he had Chovy and Deft, he was able to just full clear on repeat because he never had to gank because he just had winning laners. Uh, and then he was able to hit six. Nar being picked. Yep, Summit. There you go. Three champions. Okay, okay, okay. The Nocturne is really scary with the Aurelian Soul. I, it's very surprising to me that they don't blind something that follows up the Nocturne. I mean, obviously, they have the A-Soul, but it, it, it's still weird that they, they don't pick something else to follow up on it. So, there's a lot of magic damage on TSM. Yeah, there it is. There's the Ornn. Okay, so Ornn is, Ornn is just being picked. I don't know. Oh, Scion. What? Scion's also really bad against uh, A-Soul because when he, charges his, uh, when he charges his Q, he gets pulled by A-Soul Z. Okay, Core JJ, Yun, down in bot lane. So again, TSM has winning mid, and they have winning uh, they have winning bot lane, they have winning mid, um, and then they have a top laner that scales a lot better than the opposing top laner. So I really like this. I think the Comet on Scion is really bad because he's never looking for lethal. He's just trying to sustain and then scale into the later stages of the game. So Spellbook is definitely a much better choice. Um, the thing about Syndra versus Aurelian Soul is that Aurelian Soul can never use Q because Syndra just always holds E. Um, for Aurelian Soul trying to use Q, and then nothing ends up happening. Really good spacing there by Maple. Doesn't get tagged by the E, so it doesn't give over a stack to the Aurelian Soul. Um, I like that. Maple picking up the W. He's looking for anything that he possibly can get right now. He does get a splinter there on Syndra. I think the Q onto that minion was definitely bad, but yeah. I mean, you can see Airy has a little bit of a hard time. He's going to use E right here. Uh, that should never be allowed. It should never be allowed that he actually is able to, ever able to cast Q for that long. He does take a lot of damage. Maple's not doing the best of jobs at poking. Um, he should also be standing left side right now. And he should be making Aurelian Soul move down towards the right. Alright, this is good. This is good. Alright, he gets the stun. The stun's a little bit late. I mean, Aerie does take a little bit more damage. Chime and uh, Wild Turtle, I mean, they're doing a pretty good job. Boogie looking for some sort of a gank against Summit. Solo's doing actually a pretty good job in general. There's the E. Mm, Summit is going to have to flash. Doesn't have the hop available. So nice gank timing there by Boogie. Gets the flash out of Summit. Gold score totally even right now. Okay, okay, okay. An air. Oh, uses W to get away. Honestly, Aerie's doing a much. Well, I mean, he he's doing a lot better in the lane than he should be. But a lot of it is because Maple is doing a very poor job with his spacing on Syndra. Also, you see how he has two red potions. He wasn't using as many auto attacks aggressively and trading his HP to get Aurelian even lower. And then force Aurelian to use more of his mana against the minions. It's a little bit awkward to talk about because the screen just keeps splitting between mid and like other lanes. Um, but it definitely would be something that you'd be able to point out in like a VOD review of the game or something. Might actually look to do something in mid lane with Aurelian Soul. They might try to do like a WR. <gasps> Ooh, Pyoshik's been spotted. And Chime is here too. Maple ghosting. Oh, and that's gonna that's gonna be it. That's first blood. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, yeah. Oh, first blood on Chime. <gasps> he got he got dismounted. Oh my god. That was really bad though. That's really bad that Chime gets the kill. I mean, it's not really bad if like Chime didn't have like a, a you know, if, if if Chime doesn't have like a control ward fetish, but Still, I mean, it's, it is it is a little bit bad. So the dismount is definitely terrible. It looks like Pyoshik, he's going to go Stridebreaker, but this is going to be Rift Herald picked up for free by, by Boogie. I mean, there's no way to stop this. Summit's griefing by moving over here. I don't know what they're doing. Summit is just griefing. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. The wave has now crashed into top lane. This is really good for Solo. Summit has no rage. I don't, what is he, what is he doing? Is he getting, like, PTSD from Marin and Rainover saying that they have to get every Rift Herald? Like, why do you have to get every Rift Herald? You drafted two losing lanes. TSM are just so far ahead. I mean, there's just no losing this game, man. There's no losing this game. Aurelian Soul has... Uh, yeah, he has Merc Treads. He went Roa first. <clears throat> Still has the stopwatch. Another kill going over to TSM. I mean, this game is just going to be a slow bleed. CLG. I'm curious...
I'm so, I'm I'm curious how many stacks um, Aurelian Soul has on uh, his R right now, or like Cosmic Dust. There is no if and ors or buts about. It. Oh my God, Aurelian has 160 stacks at 18 minutes. Aerie is like, he is so understacked. Oh 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 my God! Ah, Summit goes down. They get him. Here it comes. Four man, that's 20 stacks for Aurelian Soul. That was really big. He needed that. Wait, what? He hit four people and he only got 10 stacks. What? Bug? What? Wait, what? Game's pretty paused right now, but I think the TSM, I think everything that they're doing is actually really correct. This is really clean League of Legends by TSM. It's actually just very clean. They're not doing anything. I mean, minor things that you could do would be like freezing or something. But again, I mean, there's Pyoshik, so it's like Pyoshik on Nocturne. Uh, you know, like I, I, it could be a little bit risky. Oh, Maple, are they going to? Oh, they are going to cast it. But Vi is right there. There's Aurelian Soul. There's the R. They don't have the damage. Boogie is going to use the stopwatch. Nice stun. Nice follow up onto Yun. Oh, Wild Turtle snipes with the true shot barrage. And now Solo is here. Aerie not going to be able to do any damage. Are they going to start the Baron? No. There's not really too much more to say about it. Aurelian Soul, I don't think he has... He doesn't have purple ult right now. Yeah, he doesn't have purple ult. He might E the wave. Oh, he actually didn't E the wave. He is level 15, but it looks like TSM, they're just going to... Yeah, they're just going to get... They get the Infernal Soul. They're trying to go in. Actually, they will get the kill there. Onto Maple, I think. Oh, never mind. Three-man Scion ultimate. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Very good here. Very good, yes. Very good, okay. Very nice, very nice. Wonderful, wonderful. And now they're now they're gonna turn, they're just gonna go and get the Baron. Yes. TSM are just gonna win this game, guys. There, there's not really too much to say about it. TL cannot win this. So TL has two two losing lanes and then they draft a nocturne. Um, and then, yeah, I just don't know. Uh, I'm not really sure what their logic is. Summit is trying to do whatever he can to, to save this, but, I mean, the yeah, the Baron's going to be picked up. Everyone can go over the wall. If Solo dies, he dies. I think that's just the logic. I... Okay. I think Solo dying is actually fine. But he does flat because he doesn't have a bounty or anything like that. So I think I think solo dying would would legitimately be okay. Elder Dragon's up now for TSM. They're just gonna pick up Elder. I mean that's gonna be the end of the game. Cerelda's coming in for Ezreal. Pyoshik might go for the steal. I mean it's his only option, but he can't even get into the pit. Uh, I mean he needs the blue buff from Aurelian Soul or the blue the blue trinket from Aurelian, but he, he's just not there. Chime ends up uh, getting the the elder. So now they have elder. Baron's up in thirty seconds. They're gonna reset. Purchase maybe elixirs. Get some. Get, get themselves some items. Um, they can go and get the Baron, and they can just they can they can do the inevitable push, and the game will just end up uh, ending. The cannon. Here comes another buff. Solo should have backed up to buff those minions a little bit faster. Now they've perforated the base. They're in there. Okay. The R summit hops away. That's actually a bad R by Solo. Elder. Twenty seconds remaining. They can't fight against Elder. They cannot fight against Elder. Okay, I don't know what TL are thinking. Elder says goodbye to Summit. I have no Prime idea what he's thinking. In the chat. Are there any primers in the chat? True. Twitch Prime prevents prevents ads. True. Facts. Facts, facts, facts. No, guys, I'm not saying the F-A-G-S word. No, I'm saying facts as in like, you know, like a fax machine or like F-A-C-T-S. Jesus weirdos. Kyoshik turns out the lights <clears throat> the same way that he probably wants to close his eyes when he watches Team Liquid play. That was a really good ult. That was- Oh, Kyoshik didn't die. Huh. Oh, Boogie kind of into- Oh. Yun. <laughs> little, little unfortunate there. Okay, they're gonna get the- they are gonna get the Nexus turrets. Uh, wait, I don't- wait, what? Why not just end the game? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh my god, Aurelian Soul gets one kill, and oh my god, okay, Wild Turtle walking into the execute range. Pyoshik trying to do whatever he possibly can. Pyoshik is going to get knocked up as... No, no, he's not. Okay, so it's going to be 16. Okay. A little bit frightening at the end. Tiel almost held on. That would have caused the game probably to go to another Elder, and it would have been a lot of EXP that, that went Team Liquid's way, but we hit every single bet that game except for the overkill, so we still do make profit.